Good evening, everyone. How are you? I'm fine. So today I'm going to show you how you can uh, clear your uh, CloudFront cache. So what is CloudFront? CloudFront is a CDN service, which is a content delivery network. Uh, if you search Google, you will see CDN. It's a content delivery network. Uh, change to English. um let's have another browser let's open there cdn so cdn is a content delivery network that means uh you have one source of your data and uh, the cdn is copying data to different servers this is exactly a good picture of what is cdn so you have one source of data that is your server and you have multiple uh, servers that is copying your data and distributing to the end users. So what is the benefit of using CDN? One of the uh, benefits of using CDN is to have a better performance. So for example, the users whose um, nearest to this server will be served from this uh, CDN edge location. If the user is following to this area, then he will be served from this region. For example, if your server is on US, but your uh, visitors are in uh, India, then uh, they will uh, they will be served the contents from the Indian uh, servers. Similarly, if your users are from Singapore, they will be served from the Singapore region. That's what it is. So this is very simple. And uh, this is very useful. It, improves your site's performance and also it's uh, caching data and the data transfer is uh, reduced because they cache the data and you, you have less load on the server so that's the benefit of cdn and there's a drawback that cdn caches the data so that's the drawback that it, this is they don't fetch the data every time when there is a request made for example you have some images and that is cached here and uh, this will be served to the users um, who's nearest to this server or each location. But if you change the image, what will happen? For example, in your source server or main server, you have changed the image. And then um, this is your, your visitors are taking the or serving from this edge location, which is still having cache data. So you will have a kind of like latency or you, you will have people seeing old content that's an issue and you can solve it by clearing the cache for example i can say that hey cdn please clear all the caches from your age locations and pull the data again because i have made some changes so how can we do that it's very easy uh, the cdn service of aws is uh, cloudfront so we are going to search CloudFront in the console. And here is CloudFront. And in the CloudFront distribution, I have um, a CloudFront distribution already created. If you don't know how to create a CloudFront distribution, I have other tutorials which is showing how to create a CloudFront distribution. So I have a CloudFront distribution. And this distribution will um, it is uh, serving a static website that's uh, that is hosted on S3 bucket and I made some changes and it's a React application and I have built a new version. So I am, I'm going to deploy this into, uh, into the S3 bucket and now the changes are not showing. Why? Because the data is cached. So how can I clear the cache? It is called invalidations in CloudFront. So you have to go to the tab, uh, general origins, behavior, error pages, geographic restrictions, invalidations. So you need to go to the distribution details and go to the tab invalidations and create a new invalidation. Then you need to uh, give the file name that you want to create the cache. The more specific, the better. For example, I can say clash, clear cache everything that is using wildcard. But that takes time. And if I know the file name, that 
is very fast to clear the cache. For example, I know the file name, and in my case, it is a React application, so it is index.html that that holds everything. And if I clear this file, then all other files are automatically cleared. So let me uh, create invalidation. That means it is I have requested to clear the cache to various locations of the CDN, and it is being processed to be clearing the cache. It's in progress. It usually takes one minute to two minutes, but sometimes it can take more based on your content. So we have to wait till uh, that part. And um, once it's done, you will have a green icon here which shows that your cache has been cleared. So like this, it should show completed when the cache is completed. If it's still in progress, then you see a loading icon here. So I can just reload the page to see if that is uh, completely cleared. No, still it's in cache. So I just have to wait till the cache is completely cleared. Another good thing on uh, CDN is that they can compress the content automatically from their end so that the user loads a zipped data. For example, what my meaning is your content is uh, compressed. Uh, check here and go to this. So you will see that. Uh, Yeah, compress the content objects automatically. That means um, those objects will be compressed automatically using gzip compression or broadly compressions and serve to the end users. So that's it. Uh, my cache clear is completed. If I see the details, I will see the object path. I will see the date and I will see the status. Now, if I uh, visit the site, I will definitely see uh, the new version of my website which is uh, do not have any cash so uh, that's it for today it's a very simple and easy process to clear cash but uh, it's not uh, very uh, user friendly like invalidation the word doesn't mean like clearing cash but i i think it, if it's uh, written like clear cash that should be more uh, user friendly and understandable but uh, this is how aws is and we need to learn how to clear the cache so thank you have a nice day and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up bye bye